here is what the milk looks like. So basically, it's up to here. So that's the difference when you mulch it. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, so this is the Works WG512. I absolutely love this. Very easy to put this on and off. This is a patented switch that goes from vacuum to a blower. So right now we're on vacuum, so this positions this at the bottom so you can snap the bag in. This is a quick release, so basically it snaps in like this. That quickly and to release it, oh my god, like that, that's so quick. There's a zipper on the back right here, so you can very easily dump your leaves, or sorry, or your mulch to a bag. It's a pretty substantial bag and there's a strap, so you can put this over your head. This does weigh about six and a half pounds. So it does get heavy, but this strap will definitely help you. Obviously, you probably want to use two hands. So let's go turn this on. For 70 miles per hour, um, winds generated with this. You have to make sure that you have a good extension cord. If you have a crappy extension cord, it's not actually going to work. You do need 12 amps to operate this. There are two speed settings, one and two, and it does get pretty loud, I'm going to say. Um, if something happens, you can remove this. This will also stop the machine. Here's a little switch here, so you'll turn this on. And then you can remove this and then take out any debris or whatever, what have you. But the blow function so again we're gonna have to remove this and we're gonna switch this like that you see that see how that switches now we're good to go we just have to make sure that the cable plugs in and then we blow Now, I would probably rather suck that out to blow it out because they're wet, so that's what we're gonna do. Of course, if you have tons and tons of leaves falling down, it works. Now, there was a little snowfall last night, and I'm actually gonna demonstrate to you guys that it's also okay to actually suck up these leaves with this uh, snow on it and water. Don't recommend do it all the time, but just rest assured that if you actually use it, you're not gonna damage the machine, which is a huge plus as well, because it's able to mulch this with the water. Now, this is a little bit wet, you don't want to recommend that um, you're mulching up wet leaves. But we did this yesterday after a small snowfall. So we left it in the garage overnight, still wet. Um, if it gets stuck, we're going to show you how to unblock it from the chamber. Uh, and then we're going to show you how much this mulches down to. It should be 1 16th of this volume. So we're going to go on towards it now. Now, the bag is pretty heavy, but let's go dump it. So there's a zipper, and here is what the mulch looks like. Now remember, there's lots of lots of water in here, but did a pretty decent job dumping it. There we go. All right, so basically, it's up to here. So that's the difference when you mulch it. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. Key reason, very simple, switching from blower to uh, vacuum mulcher. Second, the quick release right here. Oh, and you can see that more mud ended up in here. So there's a little switch here. You're gonna press this and then that's gonna release this. This is if you get any leaves stuck or anything like that this is what they're all gonna be you see that so this is where the actual blower is you can see that there is something stuck in here because the leaves were wet so you want to take all these out there you go i think it looks fine now now you can't turn this on or off when this is released so that's a safety precaution now 
We're gonna turn this on, and you see that as soon as that clock goes back on, it's gonna continue blowing. So you definitely want to make sure you don't do this closer to winter time because um, as easy it is to clean it and as strong as the motor is you obviously don't want to be doing that there's a three-year warranty though for this don't have to worry about it definitely recommended thanks for watching <laughs>